Alrighty guys, this is currently take three of us. The first time I did this, I forgot to actually record the screen. And the second time, I didn't realise that the volume was leaking from the monitor into the mic. Here we have every single VOD that I have gotten from my locals on Friday. Minus two of them, because those were not saved by me. They were saved for onto my Switch and then imported onto the PC by here. So, we're just going to go ahead and go through these videos and we're going to just note and highlight any critical failures that I did, along with any critical successes. You can't be too negative on yourself. And at the end of it, we should have a nice little list of things we need to work on in the future. And then we're going to try and iron out some of those things online. We can do some of it online, some of it not so much, but we're going to make an attempt to anyways. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get into it now, and we'll see what comes up from this. I mean, spoilers, I already know, and I'm already prepared, but you're not. So it'll be a lovely little mystery for you guys. <laughs> Alrighty, so first things first, uh, we need to go back to Spit because I missed it. Alrighty, did you notice what just happened by there? Let's just go back a little bit. Alright, what do you notice about this? If the answer is that I A dodged, you would be absolutely correct. I should be catching the banana without air dodging, that's probably the worst way of catching it. I think this was just due to tournament nerves, and I was holding the stick in a certain direction while pressing grab, whereas I just need to be pressing just grab on its own while I'm in the air. So yeah, I won't blame myself too much for this, but we do need to have this ironed out in the future. That by the way should definitely have been a grab, not a grab even, uh, grab is what I did. That definitely should have been a F smash, but you know, I won't blame myself too much, that's just a moment thing that happens in a game, you can't really, I mean you can, but that's my main concern right now is just getting comfortable with Diddy, not so much with I should be killing earlier, though I really should be killing earlier. So you'll notice this quite a bit later on, but I have a genuine lack of understanding of how I should be using uh, down tilt in this situation. So it feels like down tilt's really negative on hit, and it feels like you're kind of just guessing what we're doing. It feels like there's nothing true from down tilt, and at higher percents you'll see me whiffing a lot of kill confirms, but we'll get into that when we get into it. But here I would say is another mistake, or a critical one, but still. So I got the- I caught him with Downy and I connected, which was great, you know, that's one of the things I was practicing. But at 102%, that leads into nothing. Lucina goes way too high. I would have been better connecting it with a back air to send Lucina off stage. Or instead connecting it with an air so that Lucina gets to about by here. And from there, you'll see that I throw the banana and try to get the epi, but the epi is not going to hit because the scene is way too high. If I did a near, the epi probably would have connected and it might have taken the stock. If not, at least it would have done more damage. So that by the way was an excellent use of my up smash out shield. Uh, let's just go back. So a misspaced failure occurred by here, and that allowed me to get the up smash for the confirm. This is literally the only time I do a good up smash out of shield, and I don't think I ever attempt it again, which is a huge problem. I need to be doing stuff like this a lot more. So we just noticed some very Maya here, but this does add up over time. When Lucina was, uh, is it right here? Yeah, by right here. Okay, cool. So when Lucina gets off stage by here, I'm throwing the banana towards the stage, which 
does add up. I feel like Dizzy, Diddy should always be throwing banana towards the ledge, to be honest. That way then you're just not giving up so much uh, stage control. I gave up quite a bit by there. Uh, you know, if I threw it towards ledge, I would have been better prepared to deal with Lucina neutral being on stage like this. Otherwise, I would have had more ample time to try and set up an edge guard attempt by here if they were to go to ledge. That was pretty good. I was happy about that. I mean, it's just a basic confirm, but still, getting those basic confirms down is quite nice. So, straight off the bat, we notice something big by here. Let's just play that again. So, I throw a banana. I get it down here, which is great, you know, this was what I was practicing in training. But if you notice, if you notice right by here, I throw a banana, but as I do, the Palutena jumps, which makes the second down here section of it not true because they jumped and they're not in hit stun. Or better yet, they're not in banana stun even. So I'm debating on whether that's the counterplay for it or if I just didn't do it fast enough to a point where the Palutena could easily jump during the second banana. We're going to need to find that out somehow. So I liked that. That was a, that was a cute little attempt at the downy spike from me. Uh, yeah. If they were DIing in, that might have connected. Yeah, if they're DIing in, that might have connected, or if they're at a lower percent even. But I'm glad I tried that. I'm glad I tried that. And that way is just unfortunate. So as you come to find, or as I come to find, you can just collide with Diddy's up B, and he pretty much dies regardless of what percent he's at. Which makes me think his recovery is quite uh, awful, to be honest. It's made me really appreciate how good Lucario's recovery is in the grand scheme of things. It doesn't have a big hitbox or anything, you know, but it has a lot going for it, which a lot of characters just do not have. Lucario is quite privileged in that way, to be honest. I liked that. That was nice. At least I'm getting some basic type of stuff like that down. You know, just throwing a banana into an aerial. Ah, oh, wish I connected. But instead of that connecting, at least we've got a nice back air right here. That was a really good back air. Wouldn't have never been able to do that with Lucario. His back air is way too uh, long. So I should definitely try this type of stuff just a bit more now with Diddy, since he since his back air is pretty quick. By here. So I was talking about this a little bit earlier, but I was actually going towards the wrong section. So let's just quickly go through this again. So I get a nice little dash attack, miss the tech on platform. So what should a Diddy Kong player do? They should throw banana towards this. <clears throat> that way then if they stay on uh, platforms, they get hit by the banana and good things happen, or I can at least Mikey flip. Well so what what do I do? Let's take a look. I throw the banana away. No, so it's just like the ledge. I should be throwing bananas towards the opponent in this case. The Palutina just did a neutral get up. There wouldn't have been enough time for the banana to actually do anything. But at least the banana would be here threatening this corner lip by here. The Palutina would not have been able to run off. They would have had to stay in shield by here or drop down. So I could at least have attempted a safe monkey flip by here to do something. Right now, we're in neutral. I could have put myself an advantage. By here, pretty big mistake too. Pretty big mistake. I get the banana throw. Palutena is sitting on her ass for days. I get too excited and I do an up smash. You know, it's a good option, up smash. But it was not it's not gonna kill at like 109%. But you know what would have killed at around 109% by the ledger stage? A big forward smash. Big forward smash over here would have done wonders. But instead, I did the up smash. With good DI, Palutena lives. And otherwise, Palutena would have most definitely have died. And I would have been ahead, so far ahead by here right now. If I did the F smash.
And this is so unfortunate. Let's go back real quick. This spike here is the most unfortunate thing to have happened. I get a barrel blast. You know. She knocks me off of a fear. That's fine. I do a monkey flip. I do a jump. I do a footstool on the Palutena. I don't grab the ledge for some reason. I wall cling. <laughs> And then I fall to my death because Diddy doesn't get his up B once you do your side B. It is so unfortunate. That left a, that really left a bad taste in my mouth during the set, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'm very happy about this as well. It didn't lead to too much, but this is the only practical application I had of Z drop banana out of shield. I did a Z drop. Got the Nair, which is fine. I think Nair was the best option. And by here, I throw my banana just a bit too late by here. If I threw it a bit earlier, I could have connected it with a fair, and it would have probably killed Palutena, and if not, been really close to. Since I whiffed, I ended up doing the down air instead, hoping for a DIN, maybe spike or apple sign, I don't know. But um, yeah, so close to getting that, and I was quite happy about getting that all from just the Z drop banana. Once again, could have thrown banana towards ledge by here. Banana would have been by ledge, ready to intercept whatever Palutena was doing. And if not, I could have like F tilted to try and two frame. But you know, it's small mistakes. It's weak one. It's weak one. And I just want to intercept by here and say you can see how much that uh, not using the F match by ledge is making me lose this match now. I could have killed Palutena while I was at like. 80% second stock. I've now got 51% on me. She's now at 176 and I'm still struggling by here. So you can see how much that mistake has pretty much costed me the match by here so far. Once again, another big thing by here. Throw banana towards stage, not towards ledge. Just gave him all the time to just safely recover. If that banana was there right by here now, I could have set up for an F smash. But instead I just gave him the stage again for free. Once again, actually no, I think this is the first time I've seen this. So I have a big uncomfortableness with F tilt by here. So I do an F tilt. No, not even F tilt, sorry. Down tilt. I meant to say down tilt. So I do a bunch of down tilts by here. And then I end up getting beaten out by a jab out of shield here, which concerns me. I feel like I need to be better with down tilt. Down tilt must be better at 0%. I must be doing something wrong with it. It needs to... I need to do something about that for sure. Once again, kind of by here. I get a down tilt by here. I just don't know what to get from it. So at that percent, what do I go for? Do I go for a dash grab? I ended up trying to go for a dash attack cancel back here to no avail. I ended up following it with a um, falling up here into another back here, which worked out. But still, you know. And by there, I SD because I thought I'd be able to rig up her a bit better after doing a down air off stage. But Diddy Kong's recovery is kind of trash, actually. It's a. Uh, yeah. I'm really, I'm really missing the Lucario's recovery. <laughs> Let's just say that much. Once again, you can see immediately right there. Uh, back, back, back. Right by here. Go for a down tilt. What do I do by here? Do I go for a second down tilt? Because I just end up getting stuffed out by jab of all things by here. Like what am I supposed to do at low percent with down tilt? When I get a down tilt, like dash attack would have failed, dash grab would have failed. I feel like a second down tilt would have failed too, to be honest. Oh, I'm pretty happy, so I'm pausing this uh, preemptively by here, just because I'm very happy of this, of this sequence of events that occur by here. So, I go for a nair. Uh, let's just rewind that just a little bit, just a little bit. This is probably the biggest success I had of the weekly, to be honest. I hope I can replicate this type of stuff a lot more going forward. So I get in there. I tried to go for a down A spike, but he A dodges. In fact, it's not even that, I just whiffed for somehow. I'm surprised that whiffed actually looking at it. 
Let's just go back just a little back, just a bit more. So that whiffed somehow. I'm not sure how it whiffed, but I'm kind of glad it did because I ended up following up with another there into the spike right here. And I killed so early. It killed at... Let's just look at the... Net. Let's see what percent he was at. 50%. He died at 50% for that. That's so huge. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. But yeah, I'm very glad I got that. Hopefully I can replicate that more in the future. Once again, you can see... Um, let's just go back. Ah. Blech. Okay, yeah. Once again, back here. Get a down tilt. Try to go for a dash grab, eh? but instead he just rolled. It feels like there's nothing true from down tilt at low percent. So by there, that was another missed opportunity, and in fact, I actually died for it. So... By here, I get a banana. Could have gone for a... Mm, I don't think F-Smash would have worked. But I went for a down tilt, which I think was the correct option there. And I went for F smash V, whereas I should have gone for up smash. Up smash would have definitely have killed Meta Knight at this percent. And because of that whiff, I end up dying. Though I shouldn't have challenged that, but still. It, in an alternate universe, that Meta Knight would have died off to the left hand side. Oh, I want to correct myself. The Meta Knight should have died from the top from the top. Good fair. I was quite happy about this actually. So let's just go back real quick. Not a bit, a bit further back in fact. So by here I have banana at ledge. So I was covering for jump of a fair. He ends up getting up attacking, slipping on the banana. Which was a free um, F smash punish which I think was the best outcome. I might have been able to uh, do a near instead, near to down it. I might have been able to do near to down it, but I went for what I thought was the best option at the time, which was F Smash, which I think is, which is, ex I think that's acceptable is what I'm trying to say. So by here, let's take a quick look. So I go for a... I get a down tilt by the way, and I end up going for dash attack, which I think is also incorrect here. Here, I could have gone for an up smash, I think. And here, I know this one for a fact, this one hurt me. Here, I I then went for the up smash by here, <laughs> where this should have been a net, when this should have been a fear. A fear would have definitely have killed Meta Knight at this percent by the ledge. But then I'm like, ooh, let's go for the up smash. Nah, should have been a fair. Should have been a fair. And that's just unfortunate. So I ended up STing by here. I was trying to go to the I was trying to do a Lucario thing of colliding into the stage to deal damage to Meta Knight, because it deals a lot of damage. But the Kong is kind of bad with recovery and he just ends up falling off and dying. And that sucks. <laughs> So by there, I try to do the exact same type of things I did in the previous game. Try to cover a jump with fear. I got the right idea. I got the right idea. The thing is, he adapted. He saw the fear last game, and he knows banana was there, so he can't get dip attack. So he goes for roll option. So I should have been covering roll here. Could that have been a fear? Let's go back here. Down tilt. That could have been a fair. I went for a dash attack instead. That actually could have been a fair. Probably wouldn't have killed, but at least it would have set me up for a better situation. Good stuff. So here I had something really nice going here. Uh, let's just go back. So here he tries to down B towards me. I end up doing a down smash to punish. He ends up slipping on the banana during it, so I could have followed up with... I could have done a near into down air, I reckon, by here. But instead I went for jab. I don't know why I went for jab. Jab was not the play there. So 
So by there, I went for a uh, dash attack. Let's just check it out. So here I went for an, a dash attack. I reckon I could have gotten in there here. I'm gonna need my Vleds to a downy for a kill. And here I tried something cute. I attempted a Z-drop banana uh, deer. And I got the Z-drop section of it. And you can see me do a down tilt hoping that it was a deer. But I needed to move more to the left hand side for it to connect. It still got me the win. But still. So here you can see I make another attempt of uh, a Z drop banana deer. And it goes well for the most part again. So I get the Z drop. Ha very happy about that considering I was no in the ledge as well. But I. Uh, and I even fall off. Actually, no, no, no. I didn't even fall off. I stay on ledge again. So not good. If I fell off ledge, he would have definitely have died down by here. But instead, he up the wrong way. So I do pick it up with the F smash. But still, you know, better to be safe than sorry. I should be getting the down here. So by here, I attempted again. I attempted another Z drop banana deer. What ends up happening this time, bro, is that I loot my mistakes of being on stage. I did drift a little bit more here. But I do the dare way too early and it does not connect. So I need to delay the dare just a bit more and that would mean he never stopped gone. We can see he does recover here and he does in fact live for a bit. And by here you can see that I do a dash attack. Uh, let's go back a bit. A bit. So after this failed tornado, I go for a dash attack when I could have gone for a F smash. A F smash may have killed even with rage. Uh, F tilt might have been a better choice just to get him off stage. Or even a down tilt into F smash. Dash attack was not the correct play here. And we can see that we're now a stock down when I could have killed him at like 70. I probably could have killed him with a down tilt there. I've missed two crucial points of taking the stock. I have missed two very crucial points now and I'm actually behind for it. And you can see here if I SD'd and I lost the game. So I would have lost even if I took the stock most likely. But still, very bad mistakes here in this game all around. And that, that actually cost me the bracket. I, this was my loser's run and I lost due to this. Already, so um, as we saw, there were quite a few things to take away from watching these vods. I don't have a list, but we're going to make it together. Or more of, I'm going to make it, and you're going to listen. Already, so at the very, pardon me, at the very top of the agenda, we need to fix my problems with down tilt. Whenever I down tilt at low percent, I always seem to get punished for it or nothing seems to come from it and at high percent I'm picking the incorrect options. I'm either doing F smash when I should be doing F tilt, I'm attempting an F smash when I should be doing a F smash, I'm basically losing very important stocks and important percent when using down tilt so we need to look into that. Otherwise we need to look into how I am using banana by ledge. I'm always throwing banana towards the stage and not towards the opponent and that's costing me valuable stage presence and I'm not setting up things and I'm letting people get back to stage 3 which is not ideal, we need to look into that. Otherwise I need to get more comfortable with doing Z drop aerials along with catching the banana with the grab button during neutral. So I'm not showing to my opponent that I'm capable of using an aerial while holding a banana which makes Diddy Kong's neutral a lot more linear when you're not doing that reliably. Um, is there anything else major? I need to practice Z drop banana there. I messed that up quite a bit during the last uh, few games there as you saw. I'm getting the situations for it. I just either don't drift out far enough or I do not land the day correctly and that's cost me stocks too. What I've come to realise is 
When you play Lucario in Smash Ultimate, you're not really playing Smash Ultimate. <laughs> you're just playing Lucario. And playing other characters is a different game altogether. I'm sure that's the case for quite a few characters. Lucario just happens to be one of them as well. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be jumping into online now to try and iron out just a bit of it. You know, I'm not expecting proper play online because it's Wi-Fi and uh, it's in my top 20 list of things I'd rather not do. But at least I can iron out the banana tossing, the perhaps the Z ca drop catching and stuff as well. It, just having more hours into Diddy is never a bad thing, so you're probably going to be seeing the results of that now after this. Thank <laughs> you. 